Welcome to our channel Palander Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful simulation by using particle physics properties and molecular add-on in Blender. If you want to download this project and uh, you want to become our Patreon, the link of the Patreon in description. So let's start. First, I open the Blender and uh, I have a default cube. I convert this default cube into the particle system. So for that, press 1 and uh, I move this cube about the 3D cursor something like here and uh, I also add plane below this cube and scale this plane something like here and see there is no overlapping between cube and plane beautiful and uh, now I select this cube I also turn on screen cast keys because you can see which I press so beautiful now I enter into the particle system and uh, here I convert this cube into the particles and uh, here I open the source panel and in source I select the volume and in distribution I select grid and I also enter into the wireframe mode and here the end frame I choose 1 because I see all these spheres instantly and uh, I also add a, a UV sphere and uh, move this UV sphere something like here and also make it shade smooth back to the particle system and uh, here in rendered I select the object and in object I select the UV sphere beautiful nice so here is the resolution and by increasing resolution uh, we can increase the number of particles inside this cube so for that I enter the value 30 and here you can see that a lot of spheres are added to our cube and uh, here I scale down by pressing shift I scale down something like here these are not overlapping with each other also scale up something nice it's look better beautiful and uh, in display I also turn off show emitter beautiful now this is our particle system and uh, I also here enable the molecular add-on and in simulate I increase the sub step up to 12 and uh, here in density in collision I activate collision and in density I activate this and in custom I select iron beautiful and uh, here in links I activate particle linking and uh, here I increase the search length up to 5 
beautiful and uh, now i select this plane and in physics properties i apply the collision physics and here i increase the friction back to the particle system and here if i start the simulation then you can see beautiful our simulation work well now i add two blade above this particle system which cut this cube into separate parts so for that by pressing shift a i add a cube press one for front view and scale this cube along x axis something like here also focus it and also scale down beautiful now move this along z axis something above the particle system here and uh, i also press one and uh, shift d to duplicate something like here beautiful now i also add the collision properties to this cube and increase the friction and uh, select the another and also increase the friction beautiful now i add a keyframe for this cube first i select this cube and uh, press i to insert a keyframe and uh, now move to the timeline up to 40 frame here nice and press 1 and move this cube something like here nice and also insert another keyframe and uh, now jump to the keyframe 1 here i enter into the keyframe uh, something like 80 and uh, now move this blade along x axis something like here beautiful and also enter another keyframe and i reduce the number of keyframe up to 100 and now select this and press shift d to move this keyframe at 100 beautiful now i select the other blade and uh, press i to insert keyframe and uh, move to the 40 frame and uh, press 1 and uh, also move this along z axis something like here and uh, also insert the keyframe and now check the keyframe 
of the other blade and uh, here I select now move to the 80 keyframe and uh, press 1 and now move this blade along x axis something like here and also insert keyframe now select the first keyframe and shift D to duplicate and move at frame 100 beautiful now I run the simulation in particle physics here I run the simulation start molecular simulation after taking the molecular simulation you can see that our particle types cube are nicely cut into two different parts by our sharp blades now it's time to add material to these particles and blades so first I apply different type of material to our particle for that I select this particle and uh, I enter into the shader editor and also in rendered viewport material viewport and here I hit the new material and uh, here by pressing shift I enter a color ramp and connect with this base color and uh, press shift A again I enter and add the object info and the random socket connect with the vector of the color ramp beautiful here I add four different colors first I select this and uh, I convert this into the green and now select this socket and I convert this into the red color and con select this and uh, convert into the blue and finally I select this and I apply some pink type material to this and for all I increase the metallic property and also decrease the roughness now it's look like beautiful also apply the material to the blades so for that I open the material panel and here I apply uh, some this kind of material to the blades and here I increase the metallic and decrease roughness and I select the other blade and here I apply the same material back to the timeline beautiful and I apply the material to this ground something like blue material and here I increase the metallic properties and decrease some roughness and enter into the camera view and uh, here press V for walking navigation and adjust the scene 
nice hair beautiful now around the simulation and check the result again nice beautiful so in this way you can easily create this beautiful simulation by using particle physics properties and also the molecular plus add-on in blender thanks for watching